spiders can be distinguished from other arachnids by their distinctive appearance and by their ability to produce silk. A typical spider has eight eyes, and a body divided into parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. The mouth is flanked by a pair of venom-injecting fangs, and a pair of leg-like pedipalps. These have a sensory function and, in males, are also used to transfer sperm. All spiders are predatory, injecting venom into their prey. Some use silk to catch prey, but spiders also use silk to protect their eggs, lower themselves through the air, and even to sail on the breeze. There are at least 40,000 species, in about 100 families, and they live in every terrestrial habitat, from tropical rainforests to cellars and caves. Funnel weavers are often long-legged, and have minute, feathery hairs on the body, eight eyes, and a slender abdomen with dark bars, chevrons, or spots. The body is one quarter to three quarters of an inch, 0.6 to 2 centimeters, long. The funnel weaver's web takes the form of a flat, tangled silk sheet with a tunnel on one side. Females may feed their offspring by regurgitation and, in some species, the spiderlings may eat the mother when she dies. As the name implies, many of these spiders weave circular webs made up of a central hub with radiating lines and spirals of sticky and non-sticky silk. They typically catch prey in the web, wrap it in silk, cut it out, and take it to a retreat to eat it. Some species spin opaque bands of matted silk in their webs so that birds can see them and do not accidentally destroy the webs by falling into them. However, there are a few species that do not make webs, these prey after dark, using a single thread with a bead of glue at the end to snare moths. The strength of webs can be such that in Papua New Guinea, the huge webs of the Nephila species are used as fishing nets. Orb web spiders often have very large, brightly colored, and patterned abdomens. In tropical species, the abdomen may have unusual, angular shapes. The legs have three claws which can be very spiny. Of the eight eyes, the four in the middle often form a square. Orb web spiders are 16 to 134 inches, 0.2 to 4.6 centimeters, long. Males approach females on their webs and pluck threads to attract them. Females lay eggs in silk cocoons, which can be camouflaged in webs and litter, or stuck to vegetation or bark. This species is unique in living under the water surface. It ferries air, trapped by the dense hair on its abdomen, to a dome-shaped, silk-diving bell which it anchors to underwater plants. The bell is used for feeding, courtship, and hibernation, and the eggs, wrapped in silk, are also stowed inside. The water spider is 730 seconds to half an inch, 0.7 to 1.5 centimeters, long. The 5,000 species of jumping spider, salty sids, make up one of the largest of the spider families. Most jumping spiders have stout, hairy bodies, 16 to half an inch, 2 to 16 millimeters, long, and are often drab in appearance, although many tropical species are vividly colored, with elaborate markings. Some species are very ant-like, mimicking their prey in both looks and behavior. Although the different species do vary greatly, a distinctive feature common to all is their prominent eyes. At the front of the carapace, which is rectangular, with a rounded rear and square front, sits a row of four large eyes. The middle two eyes, which are very much larger than the others, resemble old-fashioned car headlights. These eyes enable jumping spiders to judge distance, shape, and movement very accurately, and give them the sharpest vision of any spider. The back of the eye capsule can be moved inside the head to keep the image of the prey centered on the retina. The smaller, outside eyes and a pair toward the rear of the carapace simply detect movement. Jumping spiders are active during the day, stalking insect prey on the ground, on walls, and in bushes, especially in warm, sunny locations. Their characteristic hunting method of jumping on their prey to seize it gives them their common name. When the weather is bad, they retreat to a small, silken nest they make in a crevice or crack. The spiders use similar shelters over winter and when they molt or lay eggs. Eggs, laid among vegetation, bark, and moss, are wrapped in silk, and the female guards them until they hatch. The name tarantula was originally applied to a wolf spider from southern Europe, but today it is far more often used for this family. These are the giants of the spider world, with bodies up to 44 inches, 12 centimeters, long, and a leg span of up to 11 inches, 28 centimeters. 
Their bodies and legs are covered in bristly hairs, and their coloration varies from pale brown to black, with markings in pink, brown, red, or black. They are mygalomorphs, like funnel web spiders, with fangs that move up and down. When threatened, a tarantula will display its downward pointing fangs. The large size of tarantulas has led to the belief that their bites are fatal but only some species are venomous. In fact the venomous species are often relatively small. Tarantulas are nocturnal hunters, relying on their large size to subdue prey, which include small vertebrates such as frogs, lizards, and birds. They crush their prey with their large fangs, pour digestive juices over the body, and then suck up the resulting liquid. Females lay a batch of eggs in a burrow. An egg sac can be the size of a golf ball and contain about 1,000 eggs. Spiderlings stay in the burrow until their first molt, and then disperse to find food and make their own burrows. Several species of this family live for 10 to 30 years, and some are kept as pets.